So I got some soap bars that I got for Christmas that I like to use, I guess, but I don't have anywhere to keep them. So let's figure something out right now. Okay, so what the dilemma is with these bars of soap is that they're really huge and I got I got several of these bars of soap for Christmas. These are these Duke Cannon big ass brick of soap. And basically it's just, you know, like this big brick of soap and you know, it's all right. This one says it smells like victory. I think it smells like soap, but you know, whatever. Uh, I do like to use these. It's it's just that you, there's nowhere to sit it. Like my shower down here in the basement. Um, you know, you just sit it there, and then what happens is the wet soap just kind of adheres to the ledge that you sit it on. So I need what I need to do is make a soap dish for this to sit it in, and. I thought maybe I would just 3D print one, and I figured maybe since these kind of were popular around Christmas time this year, that I would just be able to find some someone else who had already modeled one. But to my surprise, there is not a single Duke Cannon big ass brick of soap soap dish on Thingiverse. Like, there's not a single one. So I need to fix that. And I'm gonna fix that right now. So, I mean, don't get me wrong, it smells good. It just doesn't smell like victory. So what we're gonna do is, actually, I shouldn't put that away just yet. I have, right here off camera, my handy dandy calipers here. So let's just go ahead and zero these out. And let's take some measurements here. Boy, this is a big ass brick of soap, <laughs> literally. Okay, so that's 120. Mm, I need a notebook. Hey, I was actually prepared today. I have a pen and a, and a notepad right here beside me. Okay, so the minimum is 120, but honestly, we want to make sure that there's enough, just enough room in here. So I'm going to make it 125. 125. And let me see what that would give me. So let me run this out to 125. Smells all soapy in here. Okay, so there's 125. Yeah, that gives me that gives me some gives me some wiggle room because this is the biggest this bar will ever be. You know, as you use it, it'll get smaller. So, uh, let's see, and it is 64. So let's just say 70. That'll work. 70. And then, you know, you don't necessarily want the soap dish to be the complete depth of this. So I'm going to take a measurement of this. It's 36. But honestly, if I made it, let's just say 15 millimeters deep, I think that that would probably be enough. Uh, and then we're going to make it 15 millimeters deep. And then what we'll probably do is add, well, let's see, how would that look? Because we're going to want to add some way for water to drip down and get away from the soap. So if I make it at 15 deep, right there, and then let's just put a mark in the soap right there. Let's just say we made a five millimeter. Oh yeah. Yeah, that'll work. So we're gonna make the we're gonna make the little grooves on the inside of it five millimeters deep. Right, so then here we'll have this, and then we'll have like some This is a bad sketch, but oh and the light's not gonna allow you to even see it. You just have to take my word for it. So we're going to model this up just real quick. I probably am 
just gonna really quickly model this. I'm not necessarily certain that I'm gonna show the whole process because I don't know how, how interested you guys are in watching me do 3D CAD related stuff, you know? So uh, we're gonna just figure this out right now though. So the basic dimensions of the inside of the soap dish though is gonna be 125 by 170 by 10 with five millimeter water seepage something or another so i'm gonna go ahead and put this aside and we're gonna move to the computer here and we are just gonna begin at the beginning so i don't have any special levels that doesn't really matter so we're gonna go one 25 by 70. Okay, so that's the inside. This right here is the inside of my soap dish, and I probably want to make it... I want it to have some heft. That way it, it, it's durable. So let's just say we're going to make this sucker. Oh, here they are. Three millimeters thick. Three millimeters thick. Get the basic gist of the shapes, right? All right, so there's the basic shape of what we've got going on. And then what else I need to do? Um, actually, it looks to me like I need to rotate this crap just a little bit because I need this to be the top view. Top view. All right, we're gonna start over. All right. So here we are, 125 by 70. And I wanna give the walls a little bit of thickness, so let's just say three millimeters thick. And then what I'm gonna do is the overall height of the inside of this is going to be 15 millimeters. So let's just go ahead and give this a 15 millimeter. Let's create the void first. So we'll create the void of 15 millimeters. And then what we're gonna do is just move this guy down three to give the bottom thickness the same as the sides. Then we'll bring this guy up to the top. This way, when you look at it in the top view and you look at it in the front view, you get a three millimeter wall all around. And if I look at a side view here, this is this is high school draft in 101, baby. Let's go to here. There you go. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to go ahead and subtract. Do some subtracting. Uh, if I can find it. Here. I don't want to keep any of this crap. So we're going to go boom, boom, boom. There we go. Now I have a soap dish. A very simple, as you can see, a very simple soap dish. All right. I mean, this, this right in of itself would be... Uh, somewhat acceptable, except that you don't have anywhere for the water to go. So what we need to do now is add, let's just go to the side view and then let's change it back to wireframe. So what I want to do is put in some, let's just say like a two millimeter wide by five millimeter tall, right? So then we have a total width, 70 millimeters in here. Uh, I think that if I put them every 10 millimeters, let's, tr let's try that. So if we go just on center, minus 10, okay, and then we go 10 millimeters, 10 millimeters, 
You know, I could have done this in a batch and saved myself a lot of time, but, you know, whatever. All right, so we got the... Oop. Oop. We got these dudes in here, and then we're going to just kind of freaking bring them over here. No, over here. Let's see what that looks like. Let's see what it looks like. And I, I don't know. I mean, two millimeters. Gosh, that just seems really thick, but... Let's see, two millimeters. Yeah, that's really thick. I might have to bump those back. Or maybe what I'll do is put like a champer on the top. That's what I'll do. Champers. Champers are a good thing. Champers are your friend. Come on now. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, so now we got the interior. Interior, it is here. Soap dish, tangy, my bobber. And what we're going to wind up having to do also is give the water a place to go to exit the soap dish. This is so riveting. I mean, it's like watching a guy make a soap dish for a big-ass bar of soap. No, uh, a big-ass brick of soap. <sighs> I should be like, I don't know. I should be smoking a pipe right now. Maybe I should go light up a pipe. I haven't had one yet today. Maybe I'll do that later. I don't know. This probably is going to be more of just a random video. Who knows? Uh, okay, so I'm still recording, right? Good. So here is this. Now, if we look at this in real life, let's just see what 10 millimeters looks like here because I don't know. That might be... One... Two, three. No, you know what? I think that looks pretty good. I think that we can live with, we can live with that. But the other thing that I don't necessarily like is the thickness of two millimeters on the top there. That seems really chunky. So what I'm gonna do is that's champa. So they're two millimeters. I don't want them to come together to a full point. So if I did a half a millimeter chamfer, hmm, let's see. If I did a half a millimeter by five, because they're five tall, let's see what that would look like. Um, no, let's do this. Flip direction. Try that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's do this here. And then let's flip this. Whoops. Come on now. Flip this guy around and see if this will work on this side. Nope. 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 All I want is it to do what I want it to do. There we go. If that's not going to work, I need to go flip direction again here. There we go. That looks nice. In the words of Kevin Malone, nice. Nice. It's my terrible, terrible impression of Kevin, Kevin Malone from The Office. Um, you know what? I think I kind of like the way that that looks. It's very simple. Very simple, very nice, very easy. Um, what I need to do now, though, is give the water a place to go. So I think what I'm going to do... Let's look at this in the front view and change it back to wireframe. Because like right now, it's kind of level, and I guess it, that's okay. Because the ledge that this thing sits on is sloped. But what I want to do is make sure that the water drains out of this thing. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to just just going to make sure that it drains out. So let's go two and a half because this is five. We're going to put in a slope, something like this. Now make sure that I actually got that in the right place. Yes. All right. So What's going to happen is this is going to definitely drain out because I'm going to force it to drain. Keep my soap nice and dry. Got to keep the soap dry. Don't drop the soap. 
You gotta keep it dry. That way you don't grab it. Terrible, terrible jokes. And I apologize for that. Come on. Come on, Bessie. Okay, so now we gotta collect a closed shape of sorts. And we're gonna, like, stretch this all the way across to this side. And then we're gonna have a look and see what it looks like. Yeah, you see now, it's gonna force all that water down to the bottom. And what I'm gonna do is put some holes down here in the bottom for water to just kinda drain it, drain itself away. So what we're gonna do is go to the front view. We're gonna need to go to the right view here and then go back to wireframe. Let's just see, I don't know. Let's put a, di a circle in that's about here. About that diameter, a half a millimeter. Uh, that would be a one millimeter diameter. Okay, so let's just do this. Bring this guy over to the middle and then bring it down to the bottom. And copy this guy over here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's copy it over here, 10. So now we need to go one, two, three, four, five copies. Five copies. Five copies. At 10 millimeters. Whammo. Okay, now let's see what happens if I do this kind of shiz night. I got an itch. I got an itch. The only thing that'll fix the itch is a soap dish. A soap dish. All right. Um, we need to make these into holes. So we're gonna extrude them. Extrude them. Extrude them. Extrude them. Throw the edges of the soap dish. All right, so we got these really long freaking things here, and then uh, I am going to say subtract. <sighs> subtract from this one, these. Let's see. Let's see if that gave me some holes, baby. I need some holes. Oh, sweet nectar, look at that. Just gives it gives the water some place to go to get the frick out of there. Get the frick out of there. That's my Randy impression from Trailer Park Boys. Full of them today. Full of them today. So I think really this actually is looking quite nice. So the next order of business I think is to slice it and print it. Unless we want to um, make it a little bit more fancy, per se. You know, they do have this this um, big D on there. <laughs> it's got a, this bar of soap has a big D. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> get it together all right enough of the D jokes big D jokes and mm. this this soap actually does smell pretty good I'm I mean I got like three bars in there and uh, maybe I'll have to maybe I have to show you what why I'm making this soap dish so that you know the reason why but anyway Ah! All right, so here's what we gotta do. First things first, I need to make this into one big piece. 
night solids and I'm just gonna make all of these one piece now it's all one big ass piece and I could print this up and make this into a nice little soap dish here if I really wanted to now there is this there is this this D and I kind of feel like I want to do this I wonder what kind of a font that is. Because it's like an inset square with an inset D inside of the inset square. So let's just see if we can figure out what kind of a font this is, first of all. Front view. Let's just see if maybe it's close to, let's just say, Arial Black or something like that. I don't know. Arial Black. Let's just see. Capital D. Let's make it Arial. Height is way too frickin' big, but you know, we can scale that. Um, let's see, so the height on this, um, where's my calipers here? I made this thing 15 millimeters. So let's just say we want to do that's 23. If I made that 15, all right. Let's just let's just figure it out. Let's just figure it out. All right. So I think that this this font's actually going to work. However, I need to figure out how big the D needs to be. <laughs> Big does, how big do you need your D to be? <laughs> oh God. How big? I got a big D, man. <laughs> oh, that's not fake laughter. That's legit. I think that's funny. I think it's funny. Okay, so this is 15, right? Actually, it's 18 because we added the three millimeter. So let's just say, let's make it like I don't know. It's 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. Let's make it a 14 by 14. That way we can center it in the wall here. So let's just go like that. Like that. And then we can put it like, oh, I don't know, here plus about 15. How do they put it on here? trying to mimic the, the bar of soap you know it's like off to one side right so we're gonna try and try and stick to the theme as much as possible here so let's go but I want it to be nice even numbers plus 10 maybe ah yeah I think that's the sweet spot I think that's the sweet spot so the other thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna f try to fit a D inside of there okay so that was 14. So let's just say we want to make the D about. Let's just say 10 or 11. Let's try that. So here, and then let's make the height 10. Hmm. I think it looks pretty close. What do you think? Here's the D. And there's the D on the screen. I think I am going to roll with it. I'm going to roll with it. So we'll just kind of bring... I, although in order to make this a shape, I got to... I have to drop this into just elements. So let's do this and just drop that guy. So then now what I have is these things here and actually though I think I do want to fatten up the D just a little bit need a big fat D <laughs> I try to keep it family friendly but when we're talking about D's the 10 year old boy in me just can't help himself uh, all right so we're gonna turn that off and I don't want to make a copy because I'm just I'm just winging it actually I don't know I don't know I don't know because that's not a curve or anything it's like a parabolic shape and eh, now nah, let's not fatten it up screw it 
So what we need to do now is center this dude in the middle of this dude and figure out if that looks about right. And I think that that looks about right. I'm not gonna add the, this, this little stock number thing underneath it. I'm not gonna add that because that's too, too fine for my printer to print. So I'm just gonna leave that off. I think the logo itself is probably good enough. So what we're gonna do now is I am going to, I'm going to inset this one, let's just see, I gotta think about this. So we're gonna go, let's make it 0.5 millimeters and then subtract. Can't go too deep because the, the wall itself is only three millimeters deep, thick. So, and I don't wanna, I wanna keep some thickness there so let's just do this. This is a shape, right? Complex shape. Okay. All right. So then I'm going to take this guy. We're going to move this back that face and then I'm going to subtract this guy out by 0.5 and then I'm going to add this guy back in uh oh that didn't do what I wanted it to come on bussy do what I'm telling you nope nope is this a shape or is this a solid? Complex shape, all right. Somehow I snapped on something dorky. Nope, I gotta go here, that's why. All right, I'm gonna add that guy back in. There. Now let's see what this guy looks like. Front view, front view, front view. <laughs> oh yeah I think it looks pretty damn good I think it looks pretty damn good so let's just go ahead and and I'm only going to do it on one side there's no need to put it all the way around that's just overkill if you ask me one logo is plenty it's on this downhill side I think we have this covered now the question I have here is will my 3D printer be able to do to bridge this and I think the answer is probably yes I don't want to have to use supports here if I don't have to but I guess I can because the thing about it is these circles probably won't need supports I can I can manage to do those I'm gonna run it without supports and we'll see what happens okay so let's go ahead and export it slice it and send it to the printer so Okay. Supposedly we got it going on here. Let's see if we can print this out and see what's going on here. I don't uh, uh, I don't know what's going on here. Ribbit. Who let a frog in here? Yeah. Alright, what do we got going on here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever new version is available. So we have a big ass soap dish for a big ass brick of soap. 
and it looks to me like we're gonna be good to go all right so let's check it out and see mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what do I have do I have infill as a hundred do I really want to do a hundred percent infill let's look at the layers and see because really the bottom doesn't need to be the bottom doesn't need to be perfectly solid I mean that's a big chunk of chunk of plastic there I think I'm gonna go 30 but I want the walls to be solid and I want to have plenty of plenty of girth or plenty of thickness in the walls so let's have a look here whoop nope 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 damn it didn't want to do that all right so let's look at the layers okay so it looks like the walls are gonna maintain their thickness and what do I have the top layers I got 10 top layers that should be pretty good to eliminate any pillowing that I get wall line count is four I think that that's gonna keep my walls thick completely okay all right I think I'm good to go I just need to make sure that I don't have any support turned on because I don't think I don't think I need it this is gonna take 17 hours to print I wonder if I reduced the I mean what you can see is that the bottom is gonna be a little bit hollow and then as as this sloped surface comes in you know you can see what's going on so Okay, it's gonna take 17 hours, folks. 17 hours. <sighs> well, all right, guys. So here it, here it is. Soap dish with about a big ass bar, a big ass brick of soap in it. The, the print didn't turn out as good as I had hoped. I needed to re-level the print bed, so I got a little bit of heavage, and that happens to be on the side with the holes, but they're still there. It'll still drain good enough. Get the, the D. So now I have a place to put my soap. And actually, I'm not going to use that one just yet. I'm going to put this one in there. And now I have a soap dish. Big ass bricks of soap. Peace out.